Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial of the combo exercise on the robot. This is probably the most glitchy exercise of all the series. It's relatively useful because it combines many different things and it teaches you how to uh, transition between the different types of exercises. But again, it's very glitchy and you're going to see that along the way. First part is basically like a three arm relay where you're placing the little uh, object in the uh, indicated space and the particular the first part uh, of the exercise begins where you just have to pick up pick the object up from uh, inside that space and place it in the appropriate slot again try to maintain a parallel angle between the object and the tip of your instrument as in the three arm relay exercise there is a button on the left side of your foot of your left foot uh, by pressing that button you can switch between instruments with ease and you can place the object in the appropriate slot again try to maintain a parallel angle as much as you can and another tip is to always try to uh, not have instruments um, kind of go one on top of the other let's say your bottom instrument is always going to remain your bottom instrument never try to grasp something that's above your other instrument with your bottom instrument because then that's going to invert the positions of your arms and they will eventually force and this will eventually force your arms to collide which is going to take points away so this is kind of an advanced tip uh, for this exercise the next part of the exercise which is probably the most glitchy one is the needle driving exercise again you place the object in the indicated slot and the exercise begins you have to pick up the needle from the tray and the exercise gets very glitchy at this part you can see the instruments are kind of appear a little stuck and they are stuck it's not like a regular needle driving exercise the movement of your instrument is not as free the movement of your instrument is not as free and it's easier to exert undue tension on the needle and that's going to subtract points from you from your score uh, it's not a difficult exercise per se but again it's uh, perhaps a little more glitchy than your average exercise to take the seven and four o'clock bites uh, you're gonna use the opposite arm in backhand so on the left side of your screen you're going to be using your right arm and the left side of the screen as shown here you're going to be using on the right side sorry of your screen you're going to be using your left hand it's okay if you make a couple mistakes you're not going to lose a lot of points and you pull the needle out and you place it back into the tray you zoom back and you recenter your screen on the little ball here and the exercise is going to ask you for a couple of minutes to exchange the instruments and the final part of the exercise and that's not really that difficult is the energy dissection part of the exercise which is very similar to the energy dissection energy um, exercise series again you pick the object up you place it in the indicated slot and you use the different types of cautery on the left side you got bipolar cautery which corresponds to the leftmost button on your right foot uh, which can be a little confusing at first and you use it to ligate the dumbbell shaped structures uh, then there is the scissors which is monopolar cautery coagulation mode and cut mode coagulation mode is used to burn the big balls and the cut mode is used to uh, ligate the small balls uh, the coagulation button is located at the bottom of your rightmost part of your right foot and the cut button is located at the top of the rightmost part of your right foot. That's all there is to it and the exercise is going to uh, conclude and I believe the score was 99% when I did it.